Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be covering my top five ingredients for acne during pregnancy. Pregnancy is a time that can be very challenging when navigating skincare because certain ingredients are maybe not safe during pregnancy or basically we don't know if they're safe during pregnancy, so we tell you mm, better to avoid it. It can be very frustrating um, and pregnancy is a time where people's acne often flares or maybe they even are experiencing acne for the first time. It can be incredibly, incredibly distressing. There are some products over the counter, ingredients over the counter that can help you out. Um, but I do encourage you to see a board certified dermatologist for your acne. There are prescription treatments that can be used during pregnancy that are helpful. Um, and that's important because as a reminder, acne, if untreated, can go on to form scars, which is you know, what we're trying to avoid with acne treatment is not only to clear it up, but to prevent it from scarring. Number one ingredient is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is a compound that is more than safe during pregnancy. It has bacteriostatic effects, so it can help reduce the burden of cutie bacterium acne that contributes to acne. Azelaic acid also helps reduce hyperpigmentation. A lot of times during pregnancy, not only are you dealing with acne, but you're dealing with skin that is more prone to healing with a dark mark. You may even be experiencing a condition called melasma. Uh, azelaic acid can help both the acne as well as these issues of hyperpigmentation. It's something we prescribe for diseases of hyperpigmentation and it's safe to use during pregnancy. Azelaic acid also helps reduce redness in the skin. You know, there's another condition in the skin called perioral dermatitis. It looks an awful lot like acne and it may be something that you're dealing with during pregnancy and you're not quite sure if you're dealing with that or acne. Good news about azelaic acid, it will benefit both conditions, both acne and perioral dermatitis. Um, another condition, rosacea, can look like acne and may get worse during pregnancy. Good news, azelaic acid is used to treat rosacea as well. So it's a wonderful ingredient, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's generally pretty well tolerated. It can be a little bit drying, but otherwise not too bad. It can be used twice a day. Now, it is an ingredient that is best gotten by a prescription only, at least here in the States, because we can prescribe azelaic acid in much higher concentrations than what is sold over the counter. But if you can't get in to see a dermatologist to get a prescription right away, uh, there are some over-the-counter azelaic acid options. Specifically, the Ordinary's azelaic acid suspension is a great option for people coping with acne during pregnancy. It is a much lower percentage than what you would get in a prescription, but it is an option that can help with not only the acne, but in just helping reduce the inflammation in the skin that will lend itself to hyperpigmentation and redness. Um, all right, ingredient number two is actually a family of ingredients that are safe during pregnancy, and that is alpha hydroxy acids. These include glycolic, lactic, and mandelic. Alpha hydroxy acids help to smooth out the surface of the skin. They exfoliate the skin. Um, and they also can help lift up some hyperpigmentation. As they exfoliate the skin, they can kind of help in reducing uh, clogging of the pores. Now they're not as good as salicylic acid, however, they are safer in pregnancy. Now, as a side note, you may, you may be wondering about certain ingredients. If I'm not mentioning them here, it's because it's not the kind of thing that I feel comfortable recommending to a general audience. It's always best to talk to your treating healthcare provider. You know, salicylic acid may be okay for you, but in some cases it may not be okay for you. So I want you to talk to your doctor about any other ingredient, but these are generally recognized as safe during pregnancy, the ingredients that I'm mentioning in today's video. Um, all right, so getting back to alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic, lactic, mandelic, um, these three that I've mentioned, they vary in their size. Glycolic is the smallest, it penetrates the most deeply, so it's going to exfoliate better, but it's more likely to cause irritation. And that irritation can worsen hyperpigmentation. Lactic acid is in between the two as far as size, uh, less likely to be irritating, but not as robust as an exfoliant. And then mandelic acid, super gentle as far as an exfoliant, 
um, but very, very low likely to cause irritation. All three of these alpha hydroxy acids, they also can help improve the moisture barrier and the moisture content, reducing dryness ultimately, even though they can be drying, I know that's confusing, but they do help uh, the barrier function of the skin. Uh, and that's important for dealing with acne. If your skin is dry and uh, uh, the moisture barrier is impaired, then you will lose more water out of the skin and that will cause more inflammation in the skin and that will aggravate the acne. So these are, these are a family of ingredients that are safe to use during pregnancy. Ingredient number three that I love during pregnancy is sulfur. Sulfur is a natural compound that is anti-inflammatory. It's mildly comedolytic, meaning it can unplug pores and it's safe to use during pregnancy. It's great for acne. It's also good for rosacea and it's good for perioral dermatitis. So if you're not sure which of these conditions you're dealing with, because again, they can look very similar, sulfur is a good ingredient to use. It's safe. Like azelaic acid, it is pretty well tolerated. It smells like eggs um, and it can be a little drying, but otherwise it is fine. This product that I'm holding up by Vichy, I am rather fond of. It's new to me, but I like it and I think it's a good option for um, acne during pregnancy because not only does it have sulfur, but it also has alpha hydroxy acids in it. So if you get both ingredients, the alpha hydroxy acids will help the sulfur penetrate a little bit better. Now I'm gonna list some alternatives that have these ingredients down below. The products I'm holding up in today's video, they're not the end all be all, there are others out there. Um, it's just, I, I have them out here for illustrative purposes. Um, and I'll list some alternatives down below. All right, ingredient number four is LED therapy, LED, an LED acne mask or wand. Uh, this is a great option during pregnancy. Uh, it combines red light and blue light. Red light is anti-inflammatory and blue light specifically targets that little bacterium, cutie bacterium acnes that contributes to acne. And it's safe to use during pregnancy. So it's a safe treatment that you can do during pregnancy to help uh, improve the skin overall. Now you can go to a dermatologist and, and have this done. Um, however, you can also buy over-the-counter acne light masks. And that might be something that you wanna invest in, which is why I'm mentioning it here. They have masks and they have wands that you could use. Uh, maybe you're just getting breakouts like on the lower half of the face. You don't wanna invest in a whole mask. Uh, you can use the wand. Wands can also be used for like the back or the chest if you're dealing with acne in those areas. As a side note, any ingredient I'm mentioning in this video can also be used to other body sites as well. So yeah, LED therapy is definitely an option during pregnancy for acne. Um, you know, you can, again, you can see a dermatologist for it, but if you're not able to do that, you can buy one of these devices over the counter and do it yourself. How does it compare to what you will get in office? They're not quite the same. What you will get in office is more robust and you will see results faster. But you can get some good control uh, with at-home devices for sure. They are safe and they are an effective option. So I do recommend that for people dealing with acne during pregnancy. Last but certainly not least from me, you probably already know at this point, and it is sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important for treating acne because ultraviolet radiation actually contributes to a lot of inflammation in the skin that drives acne further. Ultraviolet radiation also slows healing down and it contributes to hyperpigmentation, which you're already trying to navigate uh, because of pregnancy hormones, but then to have sun on board, I mean, it, it's really problematic. Sunscreen is safe in pregnancy. There's not a specific sunscreen that you need to find. The sunscreen you need to find is the one that you like and you will wear. Yeah, that is it. It doesn't matter if it's chemical. It doesn't matter if it's mineral. They are safe. Uh, sunscreens are safe. I don't care what the environmental not working group wants you to think. Sunscreens are safe. They're not going to disrupt the endocrine system of your child. Um, do not buy into the fear mongering around sunscreens. Uh, they protect the skin from damaging rays that not only cause these issues of acne flaring, but can set you up for a skin cancer risk. Um, and, you know, if you're going to be having a child, 
Uh, go ahead and start getting in the habit of wearing sunscreen. That way when they're born, they see you putting on sunscreen and they learn to do it themselves. And then you keep the, you keep the habit going down generations. So definitely want to be protecting your skin from the sun for sure when it comes to addressing acne during pregnancy or any time in your life. All right, those are my top five ingredients for acne and pregnancy that you can buy in the store. But again, I encourage you to see a board certified dermatologist uh, if you're coping with acne during pregnancy, because again, there are medications that can be prescribed, uh, stronger forms of azelaic acid, uh, in office LED that's more potent uh, that you, know, you might be a candidate for. Uh, so definitely, you know, I would always encourage you to see a board certified dermatologist, but these things that you can buy over the counter certainly can help. Uh, uh, you know, they can help quite a bit. Uh, the extent to which they will help will depend on the severity of your acne and how consistent you are with using them. Uh, some acne is just, th these things are not going to touch, in which case you definitely want to see a board certified dermatologist. Uh, for your acne. It can be a very challenging area to navigate. You don't want to do it yourself. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.